Today we've been here at St. Francis Mission Girls High School for an Invention Education Day. We've had time to go through Invention Education, carrying out various uh, activities. The first activity that we have done, we have done the gallery walk, whereby the students have been able to interact with the walls talking to them. They've been able to study the various uh, inventions, especially by black men and especially the women, which has challenged them to think uh, critically, uh, to think innovation, to think invention, and be able to know that uh, also them being ladies, they can also be able to to invent uh, things. Uh, after that, we've been able to do also some uh, Explore Cafe activities, whereby ex Explore Cafe is a pedagogical uh, approach to invention education, which uh, is an acronym meaning experiential, playful learning opportunities and a reality where learners are involved in hands-on activities. Uh, they've been able to uh, open the box using uh, the knowledge that they've been learning in class. They had questions, physics, chemistry, biology, and even mathematics. And uh, after answering the questions, they've got the combine, right combination codes to be able to open uh, the padlocks. When you are said in a group form, we are assuming that now you will come up with a new complete, a new design, a new complete design. That was our So now, that form is going to be how much will it work? How much will it work? Inside the box. We had uh, some uh, old phones which we had uh, borrowed from uh, our colleagues and uh, using uh, their skills, they've been able to uh, take the measurement for their phones, they've been able to get uh, the mass, the weight, the volume, which is all about the uh, metrics, which are engineering skills. Uh, they've also been able to put their architectural uh, skills into practice by drawing uh, some uh, designs of the phone, after which they opened up the inside of the phone and uh, it was uh, so interesting for them to be able to achieve this. Uh, they've struggled with that at all. For most of them, it was their first time getting to interact with the interior of a phone. They've just been interacting uh, with the user interface, but today they've had the opportunity through their hands-on activities to be able to open up the interior of the phone and uh, study it, get to know what is happening on the inside. Uh, through the design uh, thinking, they've been able to come up with innovative ways on how they can be able to redesign the phone, what they would improve, what they would uh, uh, take away, what they would add and all that. And after that, uh, we've exposed them to entrepreneurial skills, whereby we've asked them a question after you redesign your phone and improve it. Uh, which brand name would you give it uh, to, to uh, which uh, a name would give to your phone and from that you've been able to get some amazing creative innovative names what is your trademark name for your new improved phone which group wants to go first That's so creative. Uh -huh. Again, what's the name? Fesa. Fesa. Yes. Wow, that's great. That's great. Uh -huh. A plus, a price tag uh, to, to their phones and put their entrepreneurial skills uh, into action. We have included all desirable components of a phone. Uh, for example, it has a higher storage capacity. And in addition to that, it has got two years' warrant. Yeah, in addition to what she said, it has in the fingerprint sensor, making it easier to access the phone easily instantly. And uh, so the screen protector, which is helping prevent the screen from being broken easily.
Okay, so you bring in up the aspect of uh, durability, she has talked about the two years warranty, so you are guaranteeing your client of the durability of the phone among us, uh, other things. Yes, so that's uh, all the entrepreneurial skills. Now is preparing us to the CBE curriculum, especially with the grade uh, 10 who are coming next year. So as a school, we are getting ready uh, for the STEM pathway. Our last activity for the day has been the robotics and coding, which is aligned to the competency-based uh, education curriculum about uh, digital literacy. We've exposed our learners to building uh, the robotics kits. The sensors are our input and they are connected to the numbers. So let me show you some of the papers. So, um, I'm trying to get a keyboard with me right here. Uh, you said terms of output. So I'm going to, let me switch on my brick. I'm going to switch on your brick so I show you something. They've also been able to code the kits and uh, with the integration of with the integration of uh, AI, we believe that uh, our learners have the first century skills, which will be able to propel them to the right career pathways in line with STEM. All these activities that we've carried out throughout the day, they are aligned to the competency-based education uh, curriculum. For example, as one as learners were working together in groups or in pair in pairs, they were communicating, they were collaborating as they worked through the project and uh, problem-based uh, learning. They were putting their critical thinking skills into, into practice. Uh, the digital skills have been put uh, into practice. Creativity and imagination, all of it has been put into practice uh, within the course of the day. So this uh, Explore Cafe has been beneficial to the learners generally in their path to being the next inventors. The experience has been wonderful, especially the workshops. We've been very uh, in interactive, the teachers from the, okay, the teachers, the instruments, opening the phones, yeah, like everything. Uh, this experience to me has been very wonderful and also it will impact uh, into our lives as girls in the future careers. And uh, still, I would like to add the girls out there, STEM is not for the men as it has been said. It can also be, girls can also participate in it as in they are a member of STEM and they can work hard with their efforts there because they can, they will and they must. Thank you. My name is Antonia Nombi Mulinga. Today's workshop was interesting, especially when opening the box and dismantling a certain device, a phone. It was interactive. We did it together as a group. We managed to open it and finish all the activities. It was very fun. Even the robotics kit, it was the funniest. The funnest and uh, we love it. Uh, I want to say that STEM is not just about boys, it's not do male dominated. It is uh, a wide variety for both women and uh, boys and uh, in everything we can do it and uh, it's not hard. Just working as a group and everything is okay.